What I want to show you now is how to do a custom chart and graph. As you can see by these two examples, you can easily do it with just about any object. Here is a pencil and a rocket. So why don't we go ahead and start with our pencil. So your pencil can look like anything you want it to look like. It does not need to look like what I am making. Okay, now that we have our pencil, what we want to do is put a box around it at the very top and very bottom. So the key here is to make sure it's right at the top of the pencil and right at the bottom of the pencil. And when you do that, you select this whole item, go to Object, Graph, Design, and say New Design, and I'm going to rename it yellow pencil, say OK. Oh, that name, oh, I already have one in there called yellow pencil. Oh, um, how about bright yellow pencil? And say OK. All right, so now that we have this item, we want to make a graph to assign it to. So let's zoom out. What I want to do, take your graph tool here, Drag about the size you want the graph to be. And then let's put in how about 5, 20, 15, 30, and how about uh, what's something in between that? How about uh, 10? And then click check the box to apply. And then I'm going to just close this down. Okay, now that I have this, I want to do four different ones like we did over here for um, the vertical scale, uniformed, repeating, and sliders. So I'm going to take this, drag it over here, select both of these, drag them down here so I have another set. Okay, so now what you want to do is you want to select one of these, go up under Object, down to Graph, over to Column, and then we're going to say bright yellow pencil, and then we're going to say vertically scaled, and say OK. Voila! Now I'll take the next one, object, graph, column, bright yellow pencil, uniformly scaled, uniformly scaled, voila. OK, take the next one, object, graph, column, bright yellow pencil, repeating, but for repeating you've got to put your units in here. So just put one, say OK, and if you zoom in, you can see they're there. Object, graph, column, bright yellow pencil, and then sliding. So I want you to give this a try. If you want your slider, your rocket, to slide, you have to put a guideline in here. I don't know if you can see that blue line. So let's make another page, another artboard. On this artboard, let's make ourselves a rocket. Okay, so now we have our rocket. So once again, let me make sure this is up, whoops, up here. We put a box around it. Make it all invisible. Okay. Make sure it's right at the top, right at the bottom. And you always want to make sure that this box you made, this one, object arrange, send to back. And then you don't want any fill or line on it. No stroke or fill, okay? But it's there, all right? So now what we need to do is we make a line across the tool where we want to make a guide. 
So I'm going to put this all the way across here, okay? Because that's where I want it to pull apart and stretch, all right? So with the Direct Select tool, I'm going to select the line, make sure it's activated. Then go to the menu, go to View, okay, at the top, under View, Guides, and then Make Guides. So we're going to go all the way down to Guides, Make Guides. Now I'm going to take my selection tool. I'm going to select all of this. Can you see how it's now a different color? Go under Object, go to Graph. Then you can say, pick on the design, new design, name it. I'll just test, test Rocket. Say OK, and then say OK again. All right. Okay, so let's take the ones we've already created over here. And then let's apply a new rocket to it. Graph, column, test rocket. Object, graph, column, test rocket. This one, graph, column, test rocket. Okay, let's put this at five. See if it makes a difference. See, if you increase the number, how much larger it gets. I can even go back. Let's do that again. Object, graph, column, test rocket. And let's put a number 10 in here for units. And you can see it's much larger, but then it kind of crops them versus making them be smaller and duplicate. So it's kind of up to you on what you want it to look like versus smaller and larger on these. Okay. And the last one, object, graph, column, test rocket for sliding. And you can see, because this is where I put my line, that's the part that stretches. Had I put my line up at the top, the two windows would always stay together below that. So experiment. I can't wait to see what you come up with. And you don't need to see your pencil and rocket. You can create whatever you want. I just need you to create one item. I'll show you some examples of what some former students have created just to give you some inspiration. These are cactuses, corn on the cob, <laughs> the palm tree and water, snowman, you can see they stretch the hat on this one, a sword, another type of sword, kitty cats, very cute, and lipstick. So these are just a few, and I look forward to seeing what you create.